My funded account is actually looking pretty darn good. And I was able to make $1,141 easily, even uh, one day before, after I opened my own account. So in this specific video, this is what we're gonna talk about it. Hey everyone, this is Christian here on YouTube and welcome to a brand new video for the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I was able to make over $1,000 with my funded account easily this simple forex profits but hey if you're new to my channel and you're into day trading in general or you're into uh stocks crypto or any type of making money online then this channel is for you make sure you hit that subscribe button below and activate the notifications bell icon so that you get a notification of every new video that i upload with that being said let's jump into the video Okay, so the first thing that I wanted to let you guys know is what is EA funding? Because I know there's going to be a, like a lot of people uh, telling me, hey, Chris, but what is it? This what's this funded account that you're talking to me about? I'm going to put the video somewhere in the links above uh, where I actually talked about this specific funded account, EA funding. It's an, uh, it's a website that um, my brother recommended to me and it's actually really darn good. As a matter of fact, what you do is that you actually can choose a funded account and pay for it a very small fee and get in exchange a huge trading account so you can trade with it and split the profits with the company for instance you can actually buy for 228 dollars a $25,000 account, and then whatever you make in profit, then when you withdraw it, you're gonna actually get a percentage, a high percentage, and then the rest is gonna be for the company. For instance, you can buy for $588, for instance, a $100,000 account, and you make like $20,000, you can withdraw those 20 grand, and you keep whatever amount you actually have as a percentage, and then the rest, it goes to the company. So it's a pretty sweet deal in order to make money if you don't have that much money. If you only have like $300 to invest, you can buy a $50,000 account. And maybe if you are able to make like five, six, seven thousand dollars $7,000, you make a lot more than $300. Hopefully that actually makes sense. If you actually deposit $300 into your Forex account, it's going to take forever for you to make $7,000. But with a funded account, you can speed up that process. So I think that's the biggest benefit of it. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at my first positions. Because uh, look, I actually placed a total of two positions. Uh, one right here that is for, let me see, uh, USDCHF. This one hit the take profit uh, for $1,141. It was this trade right here. Here I got my own signal. I'm going to talk about it in just a little bit. And then right here, we got another one for GBP USD, but that this one, I actually closed it because uh, it was Friday. The market were, was about to close, but take a look at the new trade on the exact same pair that I just placed based on this signal right here, 880 and $90 this is what I have right now. Okay. So I actually moved my uh, stop loss all the way to this level to do trailing stop. And I got $350 in profit, whether it, uh, it closed the positions or not. This is the take profit level. And if it hits, I don't even know how to actually change this thing. All right. But I'm going to make like around a thousand, a thousand, uh, it's like a thousand and eight, eight hundred dollars or something. Like I don't remember, but I can still move the take profit and, you know, keep on making profit during the day. This is, uh, how much money I have made so far with this specific, uh, with this specific account, which is just crazy. Now I do want to point out what is the app that I've been using for this specific signals, but you can't use it okay you can't really use it and the reason why is because the company itself i actually asked this question uh or I, I got asked this question i checked it out on their website and this is what they say can i use indicators or expert advisors when trading with an ea account and it says yes you're free to use any indicator you wish your trading style is completely up to you we do not limit or restrict your trading strategy whether it's a, a discretionary trading hedging algorithmic trading and e expert advisors but it says we don't even impose any limits on instruments 
or position size you trade. The only rule, rule regarding expert advisors is that is not high frequency expert advisors or a views of the market feed would mean the need the news. However, we only allow unique strategies for each trader to develop on their own. We do not allow these same expert advisors or algorithms to be utilized by multiple traders. Why is that? Uh, the reason why is because it, it, it's actually right here because we need the risk to be diversified. Now, for those of you who are wondering what strategy I'm using and which one you can use, I'm going to link at the end of this video and somewhere right here in the cards, uh, a couple of video strategies that I have in Forex. Okay, you can apply them, you can review them and choose which one you prefer, but you cannot use an app. If you use an app, your account is going to be banned especially if you use my own, uh, you know, band. Uh, this is pretty much a con coincidence because I do have my own signal services, my own application that I personally created. This is not an algorithm that I am actually uh, given away. It is based on a simple strategy that I personally created. Okay, so don't use it. Go ahead and just trade on your own, create your own indicator, whatever you want, but make sure that you stay on the safe side. Okay. Now, what is my trading plan for this specific account? And what is it that I plan to do? It's very simple. One thing that I've noticed is that a lot of people will actually go for the big run when it comes to making money with, let me just go ahead and no, I don't, I don't have the settings right here, but basically what they do is that they actually risk, let's say 1% and they want to make 20% in one trade. Look, as, it's not bad because it's not bad, but it's just way too risky instead of making some fast box and just, uh, you know, going home. For instance, what I do is that I actually have right here. Uh, my trade is, I think, one to four, if I'm not mistaken, because I, I risked like $500, which was 1% of my balance. And then I was making around $1,800, which was 3.8 risk reward ratio or something like that. What's important is that you actually have this trailing stop going on. So if you actually make $300 per trade, that's fine. As long as you actually make 10 of those trades, you make a lot of money. But the problem is that they don't move the stop loss. So they actually leave it and they're like, okay, I'm going for $2,000 or zero. Zero is not good. So for instance, myself, once the price reaches to like this level, I'm going to move again my stop loss to like $600 or $700. So even if I lose the trade and it goes back down, then I'm still going to make like, like, I don't know, like $800 in profit, $700 in profit. Okay. My target is actually to get all the way to $55,000 if I'm not mistaken. Profit is 3.02% right now. Oh, my minimum is $4,000. And if I close this position, I'm going to be like $2,400 or something like that. So I'm more than half the way. And look, I'm, I don't even know how many days I actually have in order to, to finish with this. Oh, the end is October 8th. October 8th and I'm on September 12th. So I got a whole month to make a lot of money without risking that much. So risk 1%. Uh, one thing that you need to understand, the maximum loss for the day, I think is like 5%. So it's $2,500. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't lose more than $2,500 in one day or 5% or your account is going to get shut down, which is what I have, what uh, happened to me right uh, here. There you go. You see, I actually lost this one because I lost more than uh, more than 5% in one day. Now, why did I do it? I was risking. I was testing and see if it was doable and stuff. But now I'm being more conservative and I'm doing good. So this is going to be my training plan for the rest of the month. Now, how can you be profitable? Look, don't first of all, don't do anything that the company tells you not to do. For instance, following signals, using expert advisors that a bunch of people are using, using an indicator that a bunch of people are using. Don't do it. Just trade manually. All right. This is not for gamblers. I said it on the previous video. This is for people who have basic knowledge in Forex and can be slightly profitable. So as long as you're able to make 1% per day, you're insanely good to go. So if you risk, let's say 1% on every trade and you place three position max per day, even if you lose the three of them, you're still good to go. 
but we'll go with a, a 2.0 risk reward ratio. So if you actually go with 2.0, uh, you risk 1% on every trade. You only need to win two and you're going to be really profitable. Okay. So be very conservative. Number two thing that I think uh, that make, can make you profitable. If you're a beginner, of course, don't do scalp trading, go ahead and do day trading. What I mean is don't use five 15 minute candlesticks. Go ahead and use one hour candlesticks. The markets are uh, way more stable than that. I don't recommend you swing trading because this is a one month plan. So in swing trading, you could place like, I don't know, five position in one month. If you make it profitable, that's fine. But I think that for a beginner day trading, it will be easier, which means uh, open the trades in one hour candlesticks, look for a uh, uh, slightly longer run than then scalping. For instance, here I'm looking at a change on trending. The price will drop a little bit, but then it continues to jump. There's a bunch of things uh, to, to analyze on the videos that I'm going to share with you so that you can actually uh, pay attention to it. Take a look at how much money I made in one single position. I could have made more, but I was sleeping when the take profit was hit because otherwise I would have moved my take profit. I would have made a lot of money in that specific position, but you get the point, right? Be conservative. Don't let your emotions take place and trust me, you're going to be good to go. Hey, so hopefully you enjoyed the content of this video. And if you did smash the like button, support this YouTube channel, but more importantly, you guys have any questions or comments to share, you can always use the comment section below and my team will be happy to reply to you. Uh, by the way, if you want to get an EA funded account, the link to it will be in the description of this video. So thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you on the next one.